my father and mother have always stood by me and my father and mother have always made me feel that if i can think i'll do it and i think that is what my father and mother mean to me and uh, i am eternally grateful thank you mama for all that you've done mama that all this is created by my mother and no one else and my mother has gone all out for the last four months she's worked for i think 18 19 hours a day and i'm extremely grateful to mama and thank you so much uh i'm i would like to thank each and every one of you present here i know everyone has made it to jamnagar to make me and radhika feel special we are all honored and humbled to have all of you here i am sorry if i have called if we if we have caused any inconvenience to anyone please do forgive us both the families so uh i hope everyone is going to enjoy the coming 3 days and i would just like to thank my mother my father my sister and my brother my sister in law brother in law for making uh this event so memorable for me and radhika i think my family has gone all out to make us feel special everyone has been sleeping for less than 3 hours a day for the last 2 3 months and it's extremely uh i'm i'm so happy that i can share this joy with everyone out here uh, i really don't have words to express my gratitude as many of you know my life has not always been entirely a bed of roses i have also experienced the pain of thorns i have faced many health crises since childhood but my father and mother have never let me feel that i have suffered my father and mother have always stood by me and my father and mother have always made me feel that if i can think i'll do it and i think that is what my father and mother mean to me and uh i am eternally grateful now i'll come to radhika i'm 100% the lucky one there's no doubt about that i also don't know how i got radhika so i am definitely the most uh luckiest here uh radhika has been uh for the last 7 years it feels like i met radhika yesterday but every day i fall more and more in love like my brother in law says that when he used to see my sister he had volcanoes and fountains going up in his heart i would say i have earthquakes and tsunami is going in my heart when i see radhika so thank you radhika for everything virain uncle shaila aunty anjali aman thank you for welcoming me into your family with open arms i am extremely extremely thankful and grateful for having the patience for the last 7 years finally the day is coming and thank you uh, aman thank you uh, i would like to take blessings from my grandmom kokila mummy so as my mom i think my mom said it but kokila mummy comes from jamnagar and kokila mummy has been a big inspiration my grandmother has been a big inspiration to me i always take motivation my grandfather wherever he is he'll be blessing me my nani has taught me how to be religious she is a nagar brahmin very proudly she tells me that i am a nagar brahmin so she teaches me everything about from i've stayed mostly with my nani when i was young so she taught me everything and i have radhika's nani here radhika's nana is blessing us from top my my nana is also blessing us from top i'm sure they'll all be extremely happy and i'm over the next two days you're going to see a small part of one tara i think tomorrow and day after i hope it's as magical for all of you as it is for us one tara has been my passion for the last we started the first rescue center i think in 2008 when i was i don't know 10 12 years old and it's been only possible because of my parents and my family support my mother and my father have always 
uh, supported me and always taught me to serve. And uh, this was my giving back to society. I started off small and then, as my grandfather said, dare to dream. So I dreamt and then I made it a reality. So today it's, uh, tomorrow you'll see our, I don't want to talk much about it. I want you all to experience it. And uh, thank you. I don't want, I know that we have already uh, prolonged the show time, so I don't want to talk more. I'm going to make my better half speak on my behalf.